ambassador thank you good morning and good morning to all the dignitaries state secretaries foreign secretary and my friends and colleagues from the MEA um, I'm here in Berlin in a uh, in, in the uh, situation where you have to uh, isolate yourself for 14 days um, quarantine so that's the reality the new reality in covid times um when the date was there last March when the, uh, in, uh, the initial uh, co commemoration was planned uh, because it was the 7th or 6th of March um, we had a, a few thoughts and I I do remember with conversing with the foreign secretary to see whether we would do something in MEA doing bringing up the car and you know do these kind of things it's it's a challenge in these COVID times to make something visible um, and to be something, to bring out something innovative. Now, to, 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 due to COVID, it was difficult to realize all this. So I think the idea of having an, a stamp, a postal special edition of a stamp, is something very, very appropriate. It is something in a, in a ever moving and faster time. It's something which is, has its value. There are more than three million exemplars which will be printed and many many people in India and here will get their hands on it and they will ask themselves oh wow let's look at this so I think it's a very a very heartwarming uh, initiative so that's why I've heartedly uh, supported me and, and we were happy that we could release it now it, the interesting thing is that 70 years ago when our two countries were still new India was independent 47 and Germany came out of the ashes from the Nazi and, and was founded then in the democratic side of 49. And very, very uh, quickly after that, we established diplomatic relationships uh, in 51. And that's something very special. India was one of the first to do this. And so, and of course, at that time, um, uh, 70 years from, from, from now, if you see how broad and broad this relationship is, is a very special relationship. Uh, I think it, it showed the way that 70 years is a real mature number and I'm happy that we are doing this today. I, I don't want to be too, too long because the fact is such that we publish this is already something and we will do uh, all the political talks at some, at some other point. So once again, thanks to everyone who is who participated in that. I think, I think it will be a very well received um, symbolic act by the public. Respected Foreign Secretary, Government of India, Mr. Walter Wittner, Ambassador of Federal Republic of Germany, Dr. Stephen Graber, Deputy Head of Mission at the Embassy of the Federal Republic of Germany, officials of Ministry of External Affairs associated with this event and this function, and officials of Department of Post, my colleague who have been involved in this event. It's indeed a great pleasure and privilege for me to be present today on a very special moment to celebrate the 70 years of diplomatic relations between India and Federal Republic of Germany. Bonded by the values of democracy, respect for humanity and welfare through development, India and Germany are natural alliance. Our friendly relationship has strengthened over the years. Philately has been one of the significant means to strengthen cultural bonds between both these countries. Germany has released stamps on Mahatma Gandhi, series of stamps on miniature paintings depicting Durga, Mahavira, Ragini and Asaveri Ragini and former Prime Ministers. We have released stamps from our side on Einstein, Robert Koch, Dr. Henneman, Max Mueller, Beethoven, and others. The joint issue of stamps today consists of a German stamp and an Indian stamp, which is also a unique initiative by both the countries. The German stamp shows the colors of the German and Indian flags in stripes, and the Indian typography is superimposed over the stripes it has been designed by Matthias Wittig, a Berlin-based graphic designer. From our side, 
The Indian stamp is designed by Ms. Gulistan, a young and budding artist. The concept and design of the stamp is an expression of respect of the two nations for each other's culture, common values and vibrant relationships. Indian stamp depicts the famous Indian dance form, the Odissi dance and the popular German traditional dance, Schuppplattler. Further, the stamp has the monument, namely India Gate located in Delhi and Brandenburg Gate located in Berlin. I am sure that today's event of the release of this commemorative postage stamp on 70 years of diplomatic relationship of India and Germany will be a new milestone in the symbi symbiotic relationship between the two nations. I am thankful to my team in Department of Post and to the Ministry of External Affairs officials for their hard work and making this even possible. I am also grateful to the, to the Honorable Foreign Secretary Government of India for organizing this event. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Invitees and friends, Namaste, good morning, guten Morgen. It is a matter of great satisfaction for me uh, to be releasing this joint commemorative postage stamp to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between India and Germany. I thank Ambassador Walter Lindner, uh, who is currently in Germany, uh, Secretary, Department of Posts, Government of India, Sri Vineet Pandey, um, my colleague, uh, Joint Secretary Europe West, uh, Sri Sandeep Chakravarti, um, Deputy Chief of Mission of the German Embassy in New Delhi, Mr. Stephen Graber, uh, for joining me on this important occasion. When India announced the establishment of diplomatic relations with the Federal Republic of Germany on 7th of March 1951, it became one of the first countries to do so. The two countries have not looked back since. Today, the relationship is based on a foundation of close political and economic ties and strong and a strong people-to-people -people connect. An important recent indicator of these ties has been the extensive cooperation between our two countries in dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic in areas such as scientific research and the supply of health-related products and equipment. In the early days of the crisis, India supplied Germany with hydroxychloroquine, paracetamol and other uh, pharmaceutical products uh, much in demand at that time. Subsequently, and in the wake of the second wave of the pandemic in India, Germany extended much needed support in supplying health related equipment and essential drugs and raw materials to India. I wish to take this opportunity to extend grateful thanks to the government and people of Germany for this timely and very helpful gesture. In a reflection of the close ties between the two countries, India and Germany have released several stamps in the past to honor each other. These stamps have represented our cultures, personalities and history. German stamps have honored Mahatma Gandhi in 1969 and displayed Indian miniature paintings in 1979. On its part, Indian stamps have honored Beethoven in 1970, Max Muller in 1974, Albert Einstein in 1979 and Robert Koch in 1982. In March 2021, the Honorable External Affairs Minister released a logo for the 70th anniversary of our celebrations. Besides the release of the joint stamp today, several other events have been planned by our embassies, uh, both in Berlin and the German Embassy in New Delhi. The India-German Strategic Partnership, which was established in the year 2000, draws strength from an ever-expanding trade and investment relationship enhanced cooperation in areas such as science and technology research and higher and vocational education has contributed to a high degree of mobility for students and professionals between India and Germany, which is a very vital part of the people-to-people -people connection between our two countries. Germany has been one of our most important friends in the European Union. The recommencement of negotiations of the India-EU Trade and Investment Agreement augurs well for the future of our economic ties. Our regular institutional engagement at higher political levels has provided guidance and lent momentum to the bilateral relationship. In the last seven years, the Prime Minister and Chancellor Angela Merkel have met 12 times. Their virtual summit in January this year provided opportunity for a high-level review 
of all areas of bilateral, regional and global interest. India and Germany consult and cooperate closely in multilateral and international organizations. We also engage on issues of common interest to us, such as counterterrorism, cyber security and climate change. Last year, Germany became the second European country to issue guidelines for the Indo-Pacific, which we welcome. We look forward to working with Germany on our convergent vision of a free, open and inclusive Indo-Pacific region. The post-pandemic global order will require concerted effort on the part of like-minded countries to ensure that the principles of multilateralism and a rules-based international order are respected by all. India and Germany must therefore continue to enhance the level and quality of their strategic engagement. We both have unique strengths that we can synergize to be a force for global good. I convey my warm felicitations to the people of both our countries on this important milestone of 70 years of our diplomatic relations. I am pleased to launch this joint commemorative stamp to mark the event. Dhanyavad, thank you and Dankeshwar.